Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very basic music player. So I'm going to show you how you can take an audio track and then uh, customize your app in such a way that you can click play to play the song, click pause to pause the song, um, replay the song and all that good stuff. So I will basically show you how to make a very basic music player. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video and I will show you how. So the first step is of course to open Xcode and when you have done that, we're just going to create a new project. It's going to be a single view application and just call it audio player or whatever else you want to call it. And remember to set the language to Swift and if that's the case, just click next and save it wherever you want to. I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to lay out the interface to start with. And our application, for the sake of simplicity and this tutorial, our application is going to be able to play the song, it's going to be able to pause the song, and it's going to be able to replay the song. So start from zero and play all the song, the whole song from start to finish once more. So we're going to need three buttons. The first one is going to be the play button. Let's say play. And I wanted to have a black background to make it look more stylish. And the text color is going to be white. Drag it a bit bigger. Going to copy paste it three times because that is how many buttons we are going to need. Just, it's not going to be the most beautiful music player, but it's going to do the job. Play, pause, and replay. And of course, a music player isn't a music player without the image of the cover. This is of course optional, but I'm going to drag in an image view and a beautiful image of Oakland. I have never been there, but if it looks anything like this picture, I want to go there. So I'm just going to set the imagery equal to this Oakland thing picture. Just like that, it's going to be an aspect fit so that it isn't squished. Look at that, now if that, that would, that, that, you know, that's as professional as Spotify. If you would send this into Spotify, they would probably hire you right away. So you're already a professional coder, congratulations. So here we have our music player, the image, the play, the pause, the replay button. And the last thing we need is to import our song. You can pick any song you want to, just make sure that you call it song for the simplicity of this tutorial. Just call the, um, the track song and make sure that it has an extension of MP3. If it doesn't, no problem. Just make sure that you know which extension it has. In this case, it's .mp3. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the mu our music player. So bar player, player. And before I do that, almost got it import the AV foundation. I think it stands for audio video foundation. It lets you play audio and video. So make sure that you import that first and then create an audio play AV audio player. And it's going to be uh, AV audio player. So here we have our audio player and now we're going to set up this audio player. So it's connected to our song. Let's see what's no, okay do we're going to try to do this and if that doesn't work we will catch the error right here so our application doesn't crash right now we're not going to do anything with the error but it's going to be processed here if you want to extend this application and process the error in some way shape or form now we're going to define audio path the url to our song basically and it's going to be equal to a bundle dot main dot path path for resource here we go for resource a resource is called song and here you write the extension of the song in my case it's an mp3 file 
just like that. And then we're going to try, but this is going to work because our application is so awesome. We're going to try to set our player equal to an AV audio player with the contents of, uh, let's see, this one, contents of uh, NSURL that's going to be equal to our file yeah, file URL with path and our uh, do path. Here we go. Exclamation mark, I think, and just like that, we have our audio path. Let's see what doesn't it like. Insert as URL. Oh, okay, if it wants that, then we're going to give it that as URL. So here we just set our player equal to the contents of this URL, which is our song. So now we have defined our audio player, and now we just have to give the app some function. So if you can do just like this, so we have your code here, your interface here, and we're going to import the play button, which is going to be named play, play. Let's see, it's going to be an action, connect that up, here we have our play button then we need our pause button because we also want to be able to pause our song if we don't want to listen to the song anymore and of course our audio player is only going to have one song but if you want to take this to a whole nother level you can add more songs if you want to do that but in this tutorial we're just going to to do with one song to keep it simple. Now the easiest part has come. We have our player and when we click on play we just want to set the player to play. And when we click the pause button we want to take the player dot pause and when we want to replay it we just make it player dot uh, stop and um, now if you just write this it will just stop um, you can add a player dot play if you want to but I'm just going to leave it at stop so the song will stop when you click on replay if you on well I'm just going to leave that in so that it just replays without stopping so let's see what we get Okay, so this didn't work, and I think I have the solution. I don't know what I was, th I was thinking, but of course, we're just going to say player, and the current time is going to be zero. That's how simple it really is supposed to be. So let's try again, and um, everything should work beautifully. Let's see. Let's play it. There we go. Let's pause it. Let's play it, and let's replay it. There we go. Here you have your 100% functional operational music player. If you want to extend it, feel free to do that. Put in all other types of things you can do with it. But here you have the basis, here you have the foundation for a music player. You can play, you can post, you can replay, you can play. So that's awesome. Make sure that you click subscribe to my channel so that you stay tuned for my latest and newest videos and tutorials. And if you do that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.